In this video, we are going to be talking about how to customize the records in our Airtable Gantt view. So first thing I like to do always is to add some color so that these stand out a little bit more from the background. Then the next best thing you can do is add a grouping so that your tasks fall under these um, sort of subgroups depending on, in our case, owner. You can also add subgroups within that for perhaps category um, and, you know, as far as you think you need. I usually like to have really just one group, um, really just keeps everything um, from being too cluttered, but um, use that as you please. And then filtering. So um, you may want to filter things based on a particular single select or a different field, you know, ones maybe where the status is any of anything but complete. You know, maybe those are the ones you want to see, only ones you want to see. Um, you can obviously change those to meet your specific needs. Then you can change the time scale, so anything from a week to five years. You can jump to today just by clicking this button, and you can cycle backward and forward through this particular time range um, with these arrows on the right here. And then it's easy to export this entire uh, diagram with, as a PDF by just clicking the download button. And that's going to allow you to share what you see here with um, anybody, even if they don't have an Airtable account, which is uh, pretty convenient. So that went ahead and downloaded a PDF to my computer with this Gantt chart. So let's go ahead and open that up. Okay, so as you can see, we have our Gantt chart here um, that goes all the way to the end of our uh, tasks uh, and last tasks end date. Last thing to know is that you can easily resize uh, this size sidebar here uh, by dragging this little blue line back and forth if you need to see uh, the tasks or um, the grouping names a little bit uh, more clearly. And you can also hide the entire list um, just by clicking that sidebar button. Okay, so that has been how to customize the Gantt view. Stay tuned for the next video.